Senate Bill 1208 opposes the East Otay Mesa landfill project that's just over the hill. There's a lot of politics involved, but let's not get caught up in that. Instead, let's take a look at who supports this project and who opposes it and why. There's no question there's a sewage crisis from cross-border contamination in the South Bay. So all of this contamination has resulted in a public health crisis. Um, that's just getting worse every day. But the question is whether a recycling and landfill center should be built in East Otay Mesa and the Tijuana River Valley watershed. The Surfrider Foundation says absolutely not. The idea of putting yet another source of pollution in this watershed that's already chock full of pollution, it seems preposterous. And State Senator Steve Padilla agrees. That's why he authored Senate Bill 1208, which prohibits a regional water board from issuing wastewater permits for a new landfill in the Tijuana River National Estuary unless strict environmental protections are approved. Those of us in this community have frankly had enough of our community being poisoned uh, by players and actors whose main motivation is making money. Former state Senator Ben Weso now works for National Enterprise, the company who wants to develop the East Otay Mesa landfill and recycling project. It's a 340 acre site about a mile and a half north of the U.S.-Mexico border. This landfill will actually be built with a liner that will prevent any seepage into the watershed. It will be built with controls that prevent any water, if it produces any kind of contaminated or dirty or any kind of polluted water, it has to be all captured and treated before it's released in the environment. A landfill is a landfill. You can put all the modern linings and measures in best practices, but you will never completely prevent the impacts to the watershed. And in 2010, voters approved a landfill should be built in East Otay Mesa. At the time, reports showed that the county would be at capacity by 2030, but recently the county waste management plan extended it to 2053. Waso says that this bill silences the public's voice before there are any environmental impact studies done. Even if we don't need landfills anymore, we're going to need recycling centers. Where are we going to put them next to houses? The bill is in the House Appropriations Committee. Meanwhile, developers say they are close to submitting their application for permits. In East Otay Mesa, Abby Black, CBS 8.